Good morning, guys. I don't know if you can see that uh, moon up in the sky there. I am up early. I've got a lot to do today. Uh, plus, someone I know is kicking some butt and has some help. So, uh, I think the weather's going to cooperate this morning. So, we're going to get out there early, get set up. Got to get me some coffee. Uh, so, we'll be seeing you here in just a minute. <laughs> First full. Game changer. It's time to get down to business, baby. This thing is freaking heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna take it slow. I think it's gonna work though. This is a game changer, man. Game changer. Well, guys, I got a, I got it. I got it back here. Just got to pull that thing out and uh, set it off to the side and run some extension cords and we'll have the compressor and nail gun ready to roll. So I'm going to try to get the tent up today. Hopefully the weather cooperates. We left a mess out here. Look at this. Uh, cabin's looking good. I'm excited. Let me make use of my time. Get this thing out.
Wish I was videoing for that. Man, I slid down that hill. Trailer went sideways. Uh, let me see if I can get out of it. I am about to tip over. Not good. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. All right, here we go. Compressor, generator, game on. Okay guys, here's the, here's the dilemma I have. These are eight foot sheets of plywood. Should've went with nine because the uh, bottom part here, I could've tied it in to the, uh, the bottom su support rafters and it'd've been a lot easier, but, so I gotta make a decision since, I don't know, there's about uh, two, Three, I don't know. There's about that much gap uh, because I really want to come all the way down onto the the joist to kind of tie it together. <sighs> Got to make a decision. I'm gonna have to have some small pieces. So I'm thinking up there on the on the where the gaps are in the rafters anyway. I'm gonna have to come back in there and fill those in. So probably gonna leave the gap at the top. Go ahead and skin it all the way around, and have to come back and put another piece up there. Uh, hey man. Not a pro, live and learn, maybe next time, right?
What's up guys? I am pooped. So far, uh, I don't know, it's early in the morning. Weather's cooperating. Um, as you can see, I got uh, I got some skin in the game right here. So, as you can see this part up here, uh, I don't know, about a foot that I'm having to uh, come back and skin out after the fact. It is what it is. So apparently the walls are taller than eight foot but i was gonna have to do that anyways for the sloped area as you can see it's it's uh thicker up here in this area and then thinner down here on this end it's because it slopes that way so i was gonna have to fill in that gap anyways so this will give me a, a thicker piece to tie it into the wall so it actually i think works out pretty good um, but anyways, and then I was also able to go lower on the foundation, which will help strengthen it as well. So, hey, overall, it'll be all right. Uh, it'll get skinned and once it's covered with the final material, you know, nobody will know any different, right? So, uh, those are just full sheets that I didn't have to cut. There are a couple spots like right here where there is no, uh, board for it to to sit on so i'm going to come back and put a two by four there and then i think there's one more spot over here yeah right here i'm gonna have to put a a board but i needed to put one here anyways because this is where this adjoining wall uh comes in oh wow look at that big spider got a big old spider web right there 
Anyway, uh, the generator and the nail gun are freaking awesome. I don't know why I didn't do that much earlier in the build. It was kind of fun swinging a hammer in the beginning, you know? So, uh, yeah, coming along good. I'm gonna skin the rest of this thing out today, hopefully. And uh, I'm gonna try to get the tin on because uh, it's supposed to be a, a gully washer. We're supposed to get really, really bad storms later this evening and tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Try to get this thing dried in, man. All right, catch y'all on the flip side. these two by fours in the spots where it doesn't land right. So small, easy fix, but needs to be done. What's up, YouTube? What's up, guys? Man, I'm working my butt off in here, but check it out. Everywhere you look, we've got walls. We have got walls. Pretty cool. Let me, uh, let me turn y'all around. Looks pretty good. So let me come out here. I'm on the front porch, as you can see, and there's walls. All the way around. I do have that gap up there. I've gotta, gotta cut some pieces and fill in those gaps. But uh, that's, that's expected. Pretty cool, looking, looking, <laughs> looking tiny is what it's looking. You can see the windows. Now that it's boxed in, I think I need to put a window in over here on this wall. Small window, just something to see out of on that side. And then this is gonna be the, the bathroom area right here. Looking good. Tell you what, man. The weather's been cooperating. I uh, hadn't had any rain yet. So I'm gonna keep working, doing what I can. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be it or not. Um, if this is it, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment below. Um, and I'll catch you on the next video. But I may keep working, I don't know. We'll see, I'm out here by myself today. Uh, man. It's challenging, it's challenging putting up this plywood. It certainly is. Really need to get the tent on the roof. It's supposed to pour over the next few days, thunderstorms, uh, heavy, heavy rain. So I'd really like to get the uh, tent on the roof. So I don't know, we'll see if I can make it happen. Y'all take it easy. Appreciate y'all.